What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install, configure, and set up Diet Pi on your favorite single board computer. In this video I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4, but as long as your board is supported by Diet Pi, and as you can see here, they do support a ton of different single board computers, this tutorial will work for you. Now you might be asking yourself, what is Diet Pi? Well, Diet Pi is a super lightweight, highly customizable Debian distro for your single board computer. Now from within Diet Pi on the initial install, you can customize Diet Pi to your liking. We could create a nice little desktop PC using LXDE, LXQT, Mate, XFCE, and a few others here. As you can see, these are the desktop environments available inside of Diet Pi. We could create a remote server, a media system or a media server, a BitTorrent downloader, retro game system, a surveillance system, a cloud server, home automation, and there's other projects here like the Google Voice Project or Microsoft AI. Now, this is a very, very powerful operating system. There are endless possibilities with Diet Pi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a desktop environment using Diet Pi. And it's actually pretty simple to use. On first boot, might look a little intimidating, but if you follow along with this tutorial, you'll have a nice little desktop PC set up on your single board computer in no time. And like I said, there's a lot of different options here, but mainly I'm going to be focusing on installing a desktop environment like Mate and getting it up and running. Before we get started, there's a few things you're going to need. Obviously, you'll need a single board computer. Like I mentioned, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4, but they do support the Odroid C1, C2, N1. I'm going to leave a link in the description because there's just too many to name here. Next thing we're going to need is a decent SD card. I'm using a PNY 32 gigabyte micro SD card and I already have it inserted into my PC. We need to flash the image to this SD card. And finally, we'll need to download an application to flash the image. I'm gonna be using Etcher. So we'll go and download this. I'm on a Windows 10 machine, so I'm gonna grab the Windows version, but this also works with Mac OS and Linux. Now we need to download Diet Pi for our single board computer. I'm gonna head back over here and I'm gonna find Raspberry Pi. This works with all models. So if you have a Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, or 4, grab this image. We're gonna download the image here, and it's super lightweight. It's only 100 megs, we do need to extract it. I'm gonna give this a little time to finish up, and then I'm gonna place Etcher and the image on my desktop for easy access. Okay, so now I have everything downloaded. I have my image here and Etcher. We're going to extract the image. We'll just right click and we can extract here using WinRAR or 7-Zip. My image is now located in a folder. If we open this up, there's a readme, hash text, and the image we're going to be flashing. Let's start up Etcher. From within Etcher, we're going to select image. That's going to be the one we just extracted to our desktop. Diet Pi, and we want to grab the disk image file. Double click. Make sure you have the correct SD card chosen. Like I said, I have a PNY 32 gigabyte card. And finally, we're gonna flash the image. Etcher's gonna handle everything for us. This could take a little while depending on how fast your SD card is, so just let this finish up. When Etcher is finished flashing, you may receive some warnings. We're just gonna click cancel. And now we're ready to move over to our single board computer. We're going to take the SD card from our PC, place it in the SD card slot on our single board computer, and boot it up. The first boot's going to look a little something like this. It needs to get everything ready on the SD card and expand the file system, so let this finish up. Soon we'll be prompted to log in with the username and password. At the very bottom here, we need to enter our username. Default is root, and the password is dietpy. Now we need to use the arrow keys and enter on our keyboard to navigate these menus. We need to accept the GPL license. We'll press our right arrow key, make sure OK is highlighted, and press Enter. It's going to try to run a connection test, but since I don't have Wi-Fi or Ethernet hooked up, it will fail. We want to enter the Diet Pi config. So we're going to press our right arrow key, make sure Diet Pi config is highlighted, press our right arrow key one more time, make sure OK is highlighted, and press Enter. From here, we need to set up our network. We can also configure our display options, audio options, performance options, advanced, language and region, security options, and network options. Adapters. This is what we want to highlight. Press OK, and it'll bring us to the network adapter options. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on by highlighting Wi-Fi. As you can see, it's already turned off. OK. 
Our Wi-Fi adapter is now enabled. We need to set up a Wi-Fi connection, so we'll go back to Wi-Fi, scan. We're going to use the very first one, zero. This is an unused network slot. We can use up to five. Scan. I'm just going to connect to my 2.4 gigahertz network. Now we need to put in our password. I'm using a WPA PSK password at the very top. And we'll enter our Wi-Fi password here. Make sure OK is highlighted. Press Enter. We're going to go to Done. Now we need to apply the settings. Click OK. Back. And Exit. From here, we can change our username and password. If you'd like to do that, you can go ahead and configure it from here by clicking OK. I'm going to leave mine set to Root and Diet Pi. I do recommend changing it, though. Same thing with the Unix password. And now it's time to install our software. So there's help, diet pie config, which we were just in for the display options and Wi-Fi options. We can search for software to install, but I want to go to software optimize. This is stuff that's going to work with your single board computer in diet pie. So I'll press enter. The desktops at the very top, you can choose one of these. I'm going to go with mate. Press your spacebar on your keyboard to highlight it. So now I'm going to install the Mate desktop. The best thing to do is just kind of scroll down and find what you'd like to install. Here's a Plex Media server we could install. There's lots of options inside of Diet Pie. It's really up to you. But like I said, we're only dealing with the desktop right now. And when we get into the desktop environment, we can always go back and reinstall this. Press Enter. And now we need to configure the boot options. So when this starts up, I always want it to go to my desktop that I'm installing, and that's going to be the Mate desktop. I'll click OK. Desktops, automatic login. I'm going to press Enter. And at the very top, we have the current auto start option is set to zero. That's going to bring us right back into this minimal setup, but we want to log right into our desktop that we're installing. So I'm going to go to Desktops, Automatic Login, number two, press Enter. I want to log in as root, and now it's set to boot directly into my desktop environment. Current auto start option is now set to two. We're going to go to exit. We also have additional software that we can install. Again, the main thing is just find what you'd like to install, make sure it's highlighted, and click OK. I'm just installing the Mate desktop, so I'm going to scroll down to install. And now it's going to install the Mate desktop for me. This could take a little while depending on your internet connection. Just let this finish up. The installation is now complete. I'm just going to click OK. We can opt out of the Diet Pie survey here. I'm just going to choose the third option, opt out of the Diet Pie survey and purge all data. All we need to do now is reboot. So we're going to type in reboot, press enter, and we're going to boot right into the desktop environment that we installed. And here it is. We now have a new desktop environment installed on a Raspberry Pi 4 using Diet Pi. Keep in mind this is still Debian, but we're running the Mate desktop. Applications, System Tools, we have the Diet Pi Backup, Cleaner, Config, Diet Pi Launcher, Services, Diet Pi Software, and if you want to install any other software from Diet Pi, you can use the Launcher or Software here. But like I mentioned, we're basically just using another desktop operating system for a single board computer, so we can do it all from terminal. So let's say I wanted to install GIMP, an awesome image editing software suite. I'm going to go ahead and install it here by typing in sudo apt git install GIMP. It's going to search for the packages. Yes, I would like to install and press enter. It's now going to install GIMP for me. Accessories, Games, Graphics, Internet, Firefox is pre-installed here. And there we have it. We're now browsing the web on our single board computer using Firefox installed inside of Debian with the Mate desktop. And all of this was set up with Diet Pi. I'll go ahead and close this down. I'll let GIMP finish up. GIMP is now finished installing. Applications, Graphics, we have GIMP installed. So I personally really like using Diet Pi on my single board computers from the Raspberry Pi 3 all the way up to the Odroid N2. And by the way, if you have an Odroid N2, definitely try this out. It's super quick on that board. And now that you've installed your first desktop environment using Diet Pi, you can always go back using Applications, System Tools. You can go to the Diet Pi Launcher, 
update, or software. If we go to the launcher, we could uninstall the Mate desktop, reinstall a different desktop environment, or you could just set up a media center if that's what you want to do. Everything's there located inside of Diet Pi. It's a very powerful operating system, and I've had a lot of fun using it. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Definitely give Diet Pi a try if you've been looking for something a little different for your single board computer. And they do have some stats. So if I go into, let's say, Odroid N2, it's going to tell me here the CPU performance rating, file system performance rating, network performance rating, heat efficiency. So they have these little graphs here. If you don't already have a single board computer and you've been wanting to use Diet Pi, definitely check out their website. We'll go to the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, I don't think that they're talking about the Raspberry Pi 4. But either way, the Odroid N2 is a pretty beefy board and Diet Pi runs really great on it. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running inside of Diet Pi on a certain single board computer, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.